What am I, what am I following you for? I brought something for Ray today. Oh, good or bad? I think it'll be good. Yeah. Brought my little craftsman chair with wheels. Oh my He's got an gosh. extension cord for some reason, but look at this, man. I think it's gonna be awesome. I think his back might be hunched over. He might be like the Notre Dame after the day, but we'll see how that works. I gotta get out. this back though. This is how I hang out in my garage and edit videos on this thing. <laughs> the funny thing is, is that he's not even joking. That's really how he does it. What's up, boss number one? How's it now going? we're talking. <laughs> Just when I thought you couldn't be any more spoiled, bro. Dude, I don't know why. I don't know why everybody's trying to get me to sit down on the job, man. Try it. We want to see you try it. We are back for another episode of Building the Nantahala Retreat. I'm with Ray, and we're already started on this flooring. There's no time to waste. It's gonna be like a tornado of hardwood flooring today. It's gonna be awesome. We're gonna get this room, the bedroom, the loft. Jason's just looking at me. Dude, it's not a tornado. It's a floor nado. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, bring me a board. Let's go. I'm waiting on you, bro. Get out of the way. Jamie's here. Hey, hey. What you got? Bull nose. Okay. Bull. I'm trying to nose. There we go. You keep moving around. So, but this is gonna go like that, right? Here's the thing. <laughs> We've done a lot of things, and I'm doing something today I've never done before with a bull nose. Okay, you got 20 seconds. All right, go. Here's a normal bull nose. It's gonna go on the loft. The flooring upstairs is gonna butt into it like that. It's the okay. same thickness. Roger. And you can't buy it like this, apparently, because it's only a half inch thick. So you made that? Yeah, 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 yeah. In the shop. Yeah, okay. yeah. So that's that. All right, how, how, how are we doing on time? Oh, you're out. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> Here's the thing about bullnose. If you're going to walk on the edge of the bullnose, you're going to be potentially putting a lot of pressure and weight on it. Yeah, you could it like needs to be strong. rip it off the floor where it's connected. This would be a terrible little bullnose for something you're going to walk on because... It's so short. Yeah. This way. Yeah, if you width. stepped on it, it would the width. potentially. Yeah, and it actually it hangs off of the floor by most of this length. So yeah. it would just snap off, yeah. right? Wrong. Here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> and this is what's different about it. This engineered flooring is sticking off of the edge of the stairway by like two inches. And we did that yesterday. On purpose. Because the flooring, it's it's lapped back in. It's strong. Yeah. It's stick out. And it's glued down. Strong. What I'm gonna do is let all the flooring boards butt up like this. You Ooh. see what's going on here now? I see what's going on here and now. And I'm gonna glue like all of this surface. I'm gonna clamp it, I'm gonna glue it. And all you'll see of the bull nose is that rounded front edge right there. Okay. Yeah. So it's an under nose bull nose. Yeah. Which you're right, we've never done that I before. I have never had a need to do it and it seemed like it made sense here. So we're gonna try it. Seriously, I'm getting pretty proud of you. That was pretty to the point. I'm trying to say only words that matter. Yeah. Well, and I'm, and, um, I'm trying to tell you've been practicing. I'm trying. I mean, I'm really putting effort into it. Wait a minute. It's a movement, bro. <laughs> Better jump on the bandwagon now. I'm not getting on that you train. Jump on it now, baby, because that train's <laughs> moving fast. Okay. In case you're wondering, in order to figure out how far out the bull nose hangs over the edge of the stair tread here, we had to actually mock up with scrap material the actual location of the finished stair tread material and then chalk a line so that we know how far to project the nose out. Once this undermount bull nose was installed with the glue, Jamie used a board and a bunch of clamps from the shop to ensure everything is held tight until the glue dries. So we got pro tip here. So when we're pulling these boards in, yeah, that's got a little bit of surface, but against that drywall, if you're not right on a stud, it's gonna woo -hoo, woo -hoo, smash the drywall. Smash the drywall. So we'll just take any old piece of scrap wood to kind of disperse that uh, pressure across the thing and then bingo, bango, boongo. Yeah, this thing can put out something like 2,000 pounds of force uh, against the wall. So you could put that through the drywall or it could, it could even move the wall, really. 
This flooring comes in about three different lengths and one of my pet peeves is when people actually try to align all of the joints of flooring like this instead of trying to make it a random pattern, which is what I prefer to do. On this flooring, we're shooting for a minimum of one foot distance between any other butt joints on opposing rows while we're laying out the boards. Generally speaking though, the narrower that the planks of flooring are, the closer you can actually put the butt joints to each other and still have a good looking floor. A great way to avoid wasting material when installing a floor like this is to use your cutoff as the starter on the next row. That way you use both ends of the board and it really doesn't matter if you're doing a random pattern how long the first board is when you get going each row. Also, if you're wondering, this glue does act as the vapor barrier so there's no other layer needed there. Ray said he's got the dip move perfected and I, I think he's right, did you just see that? <laughs> wow, that's a complicated spin. Thing. Do you see that? It's muscle man. Oh! Look, who, oh! Has, look who has the trout in his hand. <laughs> Swing that out, Jay. Oh! Dude, dude, that my. hair is gone. Dude, I am so sorry. <laughs> We gotta show you guys that the glue guy, it's not all fame and glory. It's not just riding the high tide, is it? No, not at all. I already got a blister. Oh no. My hands are soft, man. I didn't work in two months. You know what his new name is? I'm gonna call him just not Jared. That's what I'm gonna call him for a lot. All right, Jared is this guy that's the electrician crew and he broke his foot and he said he was walking in like two days, okay? That's the whole Jared thing. He just seems to be really tough, I don't know. <laughs> Got a little different deal going in the loft. Got the drywall, got the edge of the floor here. We got some nice looking jags here in the drywall. We need to cover that up. If you just took a regular piece of bull nose, how does that look? Are we good? Looks perfect. You love it? <laughs> I love it. A little touch up paint, no big deal. <laughs> now it's not gonna work for us. What we have to do, and you might wanna do the same thing because this happens all the time, is actually put a piece of trim right there. Got it. Now, what do you think of that? Ooh. Is that a little better? I don't know, I mean. <laughs> All right, <laughs> just whatever. So don't forget about your trim when you're thinking about your bull nose. It's gotta go over your trim. That's, that's what you're trying to say. That's really all there is to it. I'm gonna nail this down. Actually, this is, this is not my actual piece because this is not wide enough. This is just a scrap of the other kind. So it's gonna come back here, wider, so I can nail it to the subfloor. Good deal. Oh, there's more. Don't think it's over yet. You might be tempted to end this flush with the corner thinking, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's do that just right there. Well, that looks a little unfinished to me and I've got a bad spot. So what I like to do is run past by about an inch and then the bull nose will actually go out and wrap around yep. and so do like it, a little miter. cut off this part here, like a little yeah. square into a return, we'll call it. We call it a return. That's yeah. a return. Yep. Now and, we're done. Uh, that, that'll look, I mean, mostly done. Positive stop going in. Oh there yeah, did you see it pull down there? Yeah. So this whole process of having to make our own custom bullnose pieces for the stairs and for this loft edge is one of the major downsides to me of using an engineered flooring and the fact that most of the styles of flooring don't actually come with a prefab bullnose that you could use in these different situations. Hey, your shirt's inside out. No, it's just faded. No, it's inside out, look. No, it's faded. Look, that's inside out. Oh crap, it is inside out. <laughs> May as well leave it now. <laughs> At least I can wear it tomorrow now, it's not gonna be dirty on the other side. I don't know if that's how it works. <laughs> Underwear works that way, right? <laughs> yeah. With the flooring downstairs, minus the master closet done, it was time to move on up to the loft. And the first thing is to actually get a bunch of material up there so we're not running up and down the stairs trying to get our material. I wanted you guys to see the nailer we're using here. It's a power nailer and it shoots cleats, which have a serrated edge on them. Kind of like how a fishing hook has a barb, catches in the material a little better. And one thing about this though, is it doesn't have like a safety mechanism like most have, it's just a double trigger. So that's your safety. Once that's pulled, if you pull that trigger, bang. So you do have to be careful with this. I think Jason and I both during this process fired an errant nail somewhere. So, definitely. 
Got these on. This is adjustable too for different, you know, depths of flooring, flex adjustable foot. And, and my rating on this power nailer gun is actually really like it. I think it does a good job. It works, doesn't jam a lot. So we've been pretty happy with this machine right here. There's something we got to bring up here because everybody's gonna be freaking out about Ray rolling around and there's this loft edge right here. Ray, do you know there's a loft edge right there? Yes. And my question is, why does nobody else care about the rest of us that are just walking? Ooh, Ray, 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 Ray. So anyway, we all know there's an edge right there. Look at this guy, I think he can just jump in here and be the glue guy. Dude. <laughs> all right, I'll tell you what's frustrating here. We're having to have a perfect cut on this end, perfect cut on that end instead of being able to start at an end where we can just end with a whatever off cut. So that's really slowing us down and getting us, you know, flustered here. If you run into that situation, it's probably going to be the same thing. Does it fit? No. Oh, it, it fits, it fits. Ah, there we go. Hold on, pick that back up again. Oh boy. Let's look at something here. Yeah, let's look at that. The face and the back are not in the same plane. The, the back of this material is back about an eighth from the face. And we've been losing our minds the last like 20 minutes on our on giving numbers to a cut man and then the cut man's cutting on the back. So he's hooking on the back notch instead of the face notch. Wrong length <laughs> every time. So, hey, you seriously, know, that's the problem. Just right there. look out for stuff like that and um, wow. you won't lose your mind. Wow, it's already lost, bro. Give me my wood, bro. Four foot, start in. Another super important note if you're gonna put down any kind of hardwood floor is that you need to actually leave room from your hardwood flooring to your wall framing for expansion. And if you don't have that room and the floor gets more humid or hotter than it was when you installed it and it needs to actually expand a little bit, it doesn't have anywhere to go and it can actually buckle and ruin your floor. We are butting this floor tight in the ingrain direction to a few of the bulldozers here, but otherwise we're shooting for a half inch gap everywhere. Last row, where's Ray though? He's done. He said my job's done. No. My Blue guy's done any bales? My butt's killing me. He said he's drinking an IPA already. <laughs> I think him and John are drinking beers already. Good for him. Ray, you gotta remind me to take this stool home or I'm not gonna get this video anyway. Or what? There'll be no video. That's where I sit. For real. Really? Yeah. You can't afford anything better? No, I like it. I like sitting oh. on that. You can move around. Well, it was hurting my butt earlier. Hey. Let's do a little recap here. That top floor, we were like <laughs> flying, right? Yeah. And then we got to that part where you had to cut both ends perfect. Yeah. Woo, 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 woo. Well, that's awesome when you were editing that video. So we lost a guy and we had to cut two sides. I appreciate the vote of confidence. Mm -hmm. Production <laughs> yeah. went way down. If you were there, it would have been much yeah. better. I'm really? Sure. Excuse me? Uh, there was some sarcasm in oh, there. Oh, oh. Since, <laughs> since we're not all carpenters, I guess it didn't really I thought we were all carpenters. Well, 